Hey guys, welcome back. This is Over Rice. We are the spiciest, sexiest people in the 10 centimeter radius. Oh. <laughs> 10, 10 centimeter. centimeter. I was gonna say in this room, but there are people behind this camera who are exceptional. <laughs> I'm starting off zesty, you know what I mean? Ooh. Starting off here we have... Venom. <laughs> I never get tired of that. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's your boy, Satsu. What's cracking? And we have... Friday. Yeah, he's an official member now. Thank you. Sweet. <laughs> oh, do we ever... I don't know if we ever mentioned that. In case you never mentioned that. Brady, join the Overrides crew, bitch yeah, we never had an official announcement about that. Do we not? Never. It's, you just fit in so seamlessly, Brady. Oh, yeah. Just slide right in there. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely did fit in. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. You raised us yeah. really well. <laughs> you really did. You really did. Yeah. So how many, <laughs> how many has he been in so far? Just three so far. I mean, yeah. it's pretty zest. But yeah, so, <laughs> nah, I was just going to say, like, oh, one of my favorite things in the world, which I'm going to have to talk about, is traveling. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, that's one of my life goals. Going, I have a whole bucket list of things that I do want to see, but I'll get into that. So, just to start off, what is your traveling history? Uh, ben, like, what countries have you been in that's not the Philippines? Quite a few, actually. It depends if it's for leisure or for businesses. Both, just anything. If it's businesses, I've been to most of South, Southeast Asia. Just most of Southeast Asia? Yeah. Any examples? Of... Uh, mostly China, Guangdong, Shanghai, Macau, uh, Kuala Lumpur, oh, okay. Singapore, Vietnam, Thailand. So Southeast Asia. Like yeah. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I've been on like two, just like Hong Kong and Philippines and Dubai. <laughs> yeah. Hong Kong? Yeah, Hong Kong. Do we consider Hong Kong a travel? Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't we? It's... It's just an airport, usually a layover. There's not much to see. No, so you've no. not been to Hong Kong no. to like no. the at nightlife? No. Hong Kong slaps, G. They're doing things out there. I know what you're talking about because you go very business oriented. Yeah. And it is very business as usual. But Hong Kong slaps. They do cool things there. You've yeah. got to try the peak there, mate. Okay, like for example, I'll ask you a question. What would be one place you would like to go to in Hong Kong? I already know when or what it is. Unless it's closed. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like most places. <laughs> no, no, you'll know why I said that. Hashtag pandemic. I mean, that's, oh. that's what I was going to get at. Uh, oh. Disneyland. Hong Kong Disneyland. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the only Disneyland I've ever been to. It's actually pretty good. Good. Uh, good experiences. Good food. Like, mm. the one thing I remember from Disneyland was the... What you, Space Mountain, right? The Buzz Lightyear one? Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, shit, man. yeah. yeah. I did that, yeah. He's uh, shooting the... <laughs> Starting off zesty, so, yeah. just like the ride, actually. Because yeah, yeah. I, well, how old were you when you went? Two thousand eight. So damn, like twelve. Yeah, 12? yeah. 12, yeah. So I'm quite terrifying to travel. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, it's when I was younger, it's, it's kind of scary. That's why I'm uh, so good. I don't remember much, so I don't have. But I'll say, besides Disneyland, Sea World, I don't know what it's called. But the only vivid memory I have of Hong Kong. Is having the best squid of my life. Ooh, yeah. 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 It's just, is I don't know. Street food or? Street food. Yeah. Also, the crab, I tried crab over there. F to die for. I heard the seafood yeah. is really good. But what other countries have you been to besides Philippines? Australia? Amsterdam, twice. Oh, really? Um, South Korea, Seoul. Oh, Seoul. A couple Seoul. of days, yeah. That sounds dope. Uh, Singapore, England, Spain, mm. Barcelona. Yeah, Barcelona. Mm. Lit. Barcelona is good. Um, Australia, of course. Yeah, of course, Australia. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> I hope however, so. However, I do want to visit, on my bucket list is to go to Japan. Oh. That's lit, yeah. Because I want to eat sushi until I f vomit, all right? <laughs> and then also go to the f uh, <laughs> sumo wrestling. Oh, I want, I, want, I want to catch their f sweat as they f sumo, you know? That's possible. I want to be front row seat, just catching all the sweat. You know what I mean? I, and yeah. then I also want to eat with them to see what they eat. And I've seen a sumo wrestler on TV, right? But they pull out a girl with a naked girl with sushi, sushi on them. Yeah. 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 yeah, He's eating that, and I'm going, "Fuck me, dead!" I thought they were like eating chickens and shit. They, I think that was perhaps a special occasion because you they have restaurants just like that. You don't that, have to I've be never a had that. I've never had that. But you would of, try. You would I would. Want. I would do a um, a sushi woman. Yeah. Oh, you did sushi, sushi woman. Sushi woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 
don't know if that's the term for it, but yeah, I would, I would definitely do a sushi. No, we, we're yeah. going to have to call the Japanese government. They're going to have to make some changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's official now. Yeah, it's damn. canon. But how about you? I, I know that you, you said before that you've been throughout East Asia. Uh, but, I mean, I don't definitely not as much as Ben. Like, I, I've traveled to Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Philippines. Yeah. Um, oh, Hong Kong. You know, Hong Kong's lit. Yeah. I, I, yeah, Hong I like Hong Kong. It's dope. Um, oh, and Taiwan, but I've but I, I haven't been to Korea. I, I haven't been to Vietnam or Taipei or a lot of the other places. There, I've heard great things, and I'd love to go. But I've also traveled a lot, like say in Europe and like North and South. Oh, America. Europe. So what of Europe did you like about like? Oh man, it, it bangs. I've been to all over Italy, Rome, Venice, Florence. I went to Amsterdam as well, which is actually it was a really interesting time. Did you go summer or winter? Because I went summer. winter, so it wasn't... No, I, I went in the good time. Yeah. But it was ironic, because I'm going there, right? And I'm, I try to be culturally sensitive, right? Yeah. So I go there, and mind you, I'm living in Berlin at the time, so I'm like learning German, right? And I'm trying to think to myself, okay, yeah, they speak German. I'm like, no, they don't. They speak Dutch. So there I am, like, practicing Dutch, right? Really trying, right? And I, so I go up to, like, an airline attendant or whatever, right? And I'm in Dutch, I try to say, hi, excuse me, I'm looking for this gate because my flight is here. And then and some other things, right, when I come back to the airport. And I'm struggling through it. And the woman looks at me, right, and she's like, it, it, it's okay, it's okay. We speak English here. Just head down there to your left. And I was mortified. It was terrible. But um, I was so embarrassed. But, um, no, I've been, to, I've been to Spain as well. I've been to um, Madrid. Madrid's also a vibe, too. Uh, France, that was fun, too. Um, uh, the cameraman just flipped me off. Unnecessarily, <laughs> I, I said it was a vibe. I don't know why. No, I feel <laughs> like most of the people that went to th three countries or more is kind of a flex. I don't know why I had to say that. But yeah, like Hong Kong, Philippines, and Dubai. That's it for me. Just one more, you can flex already. I know, right? That's hey. what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, my next des destination that I do definitely want to go to is oh yeah, Japan. Japan, yeah. Japan Expo 2025, Sushi. right? Overrise in Japan, 1,000 likes. <laughs> Please, subscribe to our Patreon. We'll go to Japan and eat see sushi women or something. Or just, right. off sushi. Sushiona. Or just my birthday, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't have to pay for it since it's my birthday. But you guys can pay for it, right? Man, you live in the world of delusions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My headspace is bang. <laughs> like, um, yeah. No, but Japan would be lit to go. What do you want? Because, Brady, you said you wanted to sushi chill with women. sumos. And sushi women. <laughs> what, what, like, you want to go to Japan, but what do you want to check out? Because I think... I'll, I'm gonna go on wager and be like, "Have you been to Japan?" Yeah. How is it? How's the sushi women? Huh? <laughs> <How is> no. It? <laughs> From a perspective, it's a great tourist spot. And the fucking robots, eh? Robots <laughs> oh, robots. Uh, oh, robot cafes, right? Robot Gundam. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robot yeah. Gundam. Robot yeah. Cafes. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you can get jumped I'm... off by them. You can edit that out. That's true. You can? I want to go. <laughs> I've heard things. I've never been to Japan, but I've heard things. That sounds like a dream thing, huh? Okay, hold on, wait. And there's robots. There's robots now, like, you know, like very, you know how you get a sex doll, right? Yes. But it's like a robot fucking woman, which um, I don't know about that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like a paid service? No, it's like a fucking... I think you can buy those in Byron. I just think they're more available in Japan. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why, why, but they're really expensive, I think. I think like $5,000. They would be, eh? What is this? Like, you know... Japanese sex robots or some shit. Ah. Like. Are they Japanese? I've watched iRobot, and after watching that fucking movie, I don't want to go anywhere near those cunts. Oh, That's really? Fair. iRobot. For me, it was Terminator. Oh, that, that <laughs> yeah, you watch Humans? Touch. Uh, no. it, it's the one where, like, it's... I do every day. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it, too. <laughs> Ben's like, a woman called me a looker the other day. Well, she said voyeur, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um... Humans, is like, they're, like, synthetic robots that are, like, one-to-one -one with humans. Hey, okay, uh, okay. I think, though, the Japanese... I don't know if the Japanese... I, just, uh, I like... read an article about it ages ago. I was like, mm. you know... I watched a BBC documentary, and I think they're, like, wow. like American or European-made. Yeah. They're just, like, highly available in Japan. Wow. Okay. But you're talking about robot cafes where, like, the robots serve you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, people, people... Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are dope. Cause I thought Ben... Because also what I was talking about, I thought what Ben was talking about... Was I don't know if you see I don't know if you're into Gundam like building uh, figurines, but in Japan they have like a massive Gundam. Yeah, they have the RX-78 Mark II, just like. 
Like all, it's all for the name of it. You're really on it. Dude, they, that's my dream. Like bucket list, as I said. For sure. Yeah. Didn't they go to, like temples or anything? Did you go to temples? No, sorry? I was there for business purposes. Uh, so uh, you, didn't you didn't do much. Outside I, I I got to explore a bit, but the exploration is more towards the city bases because I was I went to Nagoya. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, One Piece. Did you see at least that? No, I don't. We don't uh, visit those kind of things. So the first thing I would notice is that um, it's very touristic oriented. If you would notice, a lot of the city places has very highly hooked um, stores for tourists. Tourist uh, traps. Is that what yeah. they call it? Yeah. Tourist yeah. traps. Tourist traps. A lot, yeah. A lot of them. yeah. Pokemon centers, for example, what I could visit in, Shub- in Shibuya. Yep. Yeah. It's a focus it's a comp- No, <laughs> But it, that's the thing. It's, a, it's an attraction that you don't get anywhere else, mm-hmm. which is much like Disneyland. A lot of things that's are very true. expensive there anyways, like that's food. True. Uh, oh, food's expensive in Japan? Uh, tourist traps. Ah, yeah, yeah, But like, because yeah. a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people that I've, that I've known gone there have just gone to like, you know, whatever local isekai or whatever. Yeah. And it's like apparently like very yeah. affordable, get very high quality. But at the same time, like what Sato was uh, talking, to a while ago, uh, talking about a while ago, how in so, Europe, a lot of people would be like, we speak English here. The experience for Southeast Asia is completely different, you know? Yeah. Especially for Japan, for example. During my visit, there's the concept of Goi Gakujin, where there's certain restaurants that are only available for Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? It's actually a very xenophobic place exactly. in a lot of senses. I've heard of that because I know of one restaurant like that in Dubai where it's just Japanese only. What? what? I thought you were about to say Arab only. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. Like, they have a Japanese restaurant. It's Japanese only, which I kind of understand to be honest, because it's like oh, okay, that's kind of well, okay. That's Go, a bit tough. So, explain your understanding. Explain your understanding. Yes, like play the devil's advocate at the very least. Go ahead. Oh, it's just the comfortability and familiarity of some uh, Japanese people going to Dubai just for a holiday and be like, oh, I want to try something familiar and something that I feel at home at. So you would want to go to some, to a place like that. But at the same time, I do understand why it's extremely xenophobic and yeah. particularly kind of racist. Yeah, okay, it is racist. I was going to say, is it racist? But yeah, it is 100%. It is, yeah. yeah. I do see both sides, but honestly... The one in Dubai seems like particularly racist because that's not yeah. Japan, you know what I mean? It's so out of place. If it's <laughs> Arab only... It's still that is also xenophobic, yeah. but yeah, yeah. At least it makes a little bit more sense. It's almost like saying, hmm... <laughs> I will go to this country that is not my own, and you are only allowed to speak my language. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I guess the Japanese, the people that founded that place, were just sad that they missed the colonial wave of the previous century. Mm. <laughs> I said it. I said that shit. That's so it. I haven't been to Dubai, right? I've only been in the airport, right? Mm. So I've heard that they've got a lot of rooftop bars and stuff like that. Oh, a lot. Yeah? Yes, they do. Wait, wait. Really? Rooftop, rooftop bars? bars? Yeah. yeah. Dude, uh, see the skylines yeah. and sky, uh, skyscrapers. Yeah. You know, Dubai likes to flaunt. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, it's a bit, uh, I, I do love it, right? But I do want to try uh, go somewhere else, like Europe, right? The one place I do want to retire eventually to is Switzerland. Yeah, so I do want to try uh, the food. Yeah. Uh, I want to try women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, snow. That's the one oh, thing. Yeah. That's well, the you, snowboard. You haven't snow? experienced snow? No, I've tried fake snow in Dubai. Yeah. So there's yeah, just yeah, a yeah. giant, what do you call it? Like a, like what? a, yeah, like, <laughs> all right, listen, I, I'm, have you seen my skin? <laughs> it's tanned, all right? Indoor ski park. Yeah, there's an indoor ski park. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's like, oh, it's, it's called like, Ski Dubai. No, right? I know what you're talking about. It's like, it's like uh, a, a warehouse and it's like cold as balls. And it's they inside have the mall. Snow. Yeah. Yeah. And at one point, they, were, they had penguins. So I've, I've seen... Yeah, they, no, they, they were had, penguins? They were so... Man, that, that is so, like... That you could touch? Flag. Yeah. Huh? That you could touch? Like, real ones. Uh, real ones. Y- you could touch them, but I think at a price. <laughs> that is such a Dubai <laughs> flex. I know. <laughs> Holy but crap. I didn't touch them, all right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not judging you for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that... I, I don't think it's only a Dubai flex. How much you know? for a Okay, but, but think about it. Like, for a lot of things. I'm sure. <laughs> wait, wait, what did you say? How much for a grab? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but it's like you, you take <laughs> Jesus Christ, you take an animal from its natural habitat, like at one of the poles. I don't yeah. know. This is north yeah, I know south. that's that's. What's and then sad. you bring it to the middle of the desert, and you're like, yeah. we'll build an enclosure that f- works. No, that's honestly, like that's like, that's horrific. But like, it's how, much, how much for a grab? <laughs> <laughs> Do something. <laughs> No, but uh, okay. I yeah, experience no, experience no. That's what I number one thing on my bucket list right now. I, you know, there are other things that I've experienced. What do you call it? Aurora, Aurora Borealis, right? Yeah, I've never seen that, but it's lit. Right, Chocolate Hills. Something I can at least do in the Philippines. Have you never been to the Chocolate Hills? What is Chocolate nope. Hill? Is it just hills that look oh, like yeah. chocolate, or can you? Uh, it's super <laughs> overrated. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, but it's a view still. What kind of chocolate does it look like? No, okay. Nah, that's in the way shit. There are <laughs> these hills in like Kit Kat. Oh, <laughs> Tom, 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 where is it? It's in Bahol. There it is. In Bahol, there are a couple of hills near like a rice paddy, and over a couple of decades of slashing and burning farming, the tops of them grow brown. It's dope to look at for five minutes. Okay. But it's just a hill. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Multiple you, hills. Okay, it's multiple. You walk up the non-colored hill to go look at the other hills that have a little bit of brown on them. Oh. It's cool, but that's about it. Do they have a chocolate factory? In no. Or it, or it has store? nothing to do with chocolate. It has nothing to do with the rice that they farm. It. <laughs> it's just a little bit brown. It that's why it's called. Like <laughs> <laughs> just like cocoa powder on top of some green hills. Yeah. yeah that's I mean, what it's I see. dope. But yeah. is the hills like fucking pointy? Or what? No, no, just no, a no, hill. Just like... It's just a hill. It's like a camel hump? Yeah. It's just a hill. Is there trees? No. It's just a hill. Just is it a dirt road or a... Just look up Microsoft pretty... 98. <laughs> like that, that's actually, all right. No, but that, that with, one, those are pointy. These are just, you know... Oh, it's like a camel hump. Yeah, yeah. with oh, cocoa powder on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If and it multiple. was pointy, they would call it Tumblr. Yeah. Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if they do exactly. here. Wait, so you want to you wanna check out chocolate? You've never been? No. Not you know what else is dope to do in Bahal? Um, the underground, like, canal. The under, underground caves. I forget what they're called. Nobody's heard of this? No, all due respect, I don't want to go anywhere haunted. You know? It's not haunted, it's, it's, it's a geological site. You don't, had me don't at underground. waves come and fucking oh. suck you out? Huh? What? If you... <laughs> I, I didn't... I Why guess. is it repeat that again? No, you know how waterfalls, you go to waterfalls, but then there's fucking waves that... Yeah. Oh, like oh, cool. Yeah. Sure, I mean, the vortex. That shit. It's a beautiful place, yeah. but once a wave comes, you're fucked. Well, I mean, yeah, you come from Australia, you would... And if you would, fucks no, you. No, that's like... <laughs> yeah. National Big wildlife. wave. I'm, if you go to Australia, probably like almost anything can kill you. Yeah, well, just don't say hello to the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah. they. I, is it just leave them actually? Alone. Let yeah. me ask you a question. Like in your experience, wait, where in Australia did you live? Do you like a you couple of places? I know. Most recently. Al- well, the most recent is like yeah, outside of Sydney, little town called um, in Mid North Coast. In the Mid North Coast. Okay, so you're in the suburbs, not directly in the main no, city. No. In the suburbs. Because you see how many like videos of like like terrifying creatures. But you don't, making see, you don't see videos of not getting bit. You wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't. No, but like in your experience, are you like? Do you ever see like a snake or a spider? Yeah, I just leave them alone. Have in you the seen, like, house? Yeah, not in the house. No, but that's what I'm asking. Because you there see was videos one in the pool when I was a kid, <laughs> and we had to. You know, you get the thing and chuck it out. A little brown belly black snake thing. But the fact no, that it happened. This is why, no, <laughs> yeah. this is why Australians are built different. Yeah. Did you hear Brady's reaction? Yeah. Yeah, man, it was a round belly black Pick snake. Pick it up and just... Probably could kill ten men with one drop. We just picked it up and chucked it out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I've heard, like, things in Australia, like, uh, snakes coming out of the toilet. That's what I'm asking. Like, yeah. there's that a lot of animals, like, getting... Really, but maybe in the bush. But not... Really. Like, but in, in the suburb, you're not getting... <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Okay. No experiences with like a but, spider or anything like that. Yeah, I've seen spiders all over. The place. Well, like how, how big are the spiders? Yeah, red, red belly black snake. I mean, I mean red. <laughs> snake. Sorry, sorry. Um, fucking red back, red back spiders. Uh-huh. Were, I, I, and how big are the garage, yeah, like, like garage? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Just spray them with the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> spray them. And they, they what, die. They, they curl up and die, don't they? Really? Yeah. If you say so, I believe you. Jesus Christ! Don't that's... fucking eat them or something. I did. Pick it up and pet it or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying Australians are built different, man. You know yeah, what Steve I mean? Irwin, right? I mean, like, he just yeah. has a strong point, you know? Just don't fuck with it. Yeah, really I, I know, but it, yeah. it's also like you... from oh, a Wasps. Wasps are c- <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that's universal. I don't think. I agree. I don't think Australia claimed that wasps were. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I, I think that they did because they really thought that. Yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, they just felt things, the need. Bro. <laughs> bees. Uh, bees are lovely. Bees are uh, cool. When they sting you, you know when they sting you, they die. Yes. Right, but wasps just fucking go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 At least bees are yeah. useful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with honey. I mean, yeah. The, yeah. But yeah. also, I mean, the last time I got stung by a bee, it didn't hurt that much. But you know what I mean? It's just a sting. Yeah. yeah. Granted, though, I, I've been around bees and often enough and not gotten stung, like. Yeah. I mean, unless you're, I get like if you're allergic, it's a real oh, it's like fun. concern. Yeah. But otherwise, it yeah. should be. Was it Confucius free. that said, "Don't uh, fuck around and fight out"? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yep, circa sixteen forty-five. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that philosophy. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just like uh, okay. Can I you imagine want... the first guy who discovered milk? Oh, I, I like how you're gonna bring this up, but I'm about to kill you. <laughs> it's not that weird. The child nurses upon the mother. And you see that. So it's not so hard to be like, hmm, there are other mothers and other species. Well, how many tits do they have? Six, right? Six. Yeah, six, right. How do I know that? <laughs> Wait, I've, I've never seen four. a cow. Uh, six. Six. Fucking six, mate. Can we Google it? Can we be lied to? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Who lied to me? Who lied? I don't know. Uh, so uh, six tits, it's four mate. from the cow and two from the human. No, there's six tits. <laughs> right, they go switched. Right, right. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, I think you're right. Four. It's four. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, yeah. Fuck me. Is it four? Sorry. Four teats. <laughs> four teats. Sorry. Yeah, it's four. Oh, good. No, it does say four. Yeah. yeah. Four. Too much hentai. <laughs> oh, speaking of, that's another reason why I do want to go to Japan. Hentai. Yeah, it's normalized. Dude, they fucking dress wait. up. Wait. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the fucking. <laughs> what the fuck? They don't all it's have to do that. Normalized. No, you're just like, no. It's normalized. No, it's normalized. I mean, like, because you, I, I heard that in like libraries, they have like underground uh, basements just no for way. underground. Oh, wait, you so mean it's not shit. normalized? No, it is normalized, but it's like, oh, you're Illegal. 18. You, we have that here. Where? You realize. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but oh like, shit! You remember when we used to go to play poker? Yeah, yeah. Downstairs, yeah. there's a massive sex shop. Yeah, I've the been whole... there. <laughs> no, no, I just walked in, say hello. Oh, okay. It's a regular. Had kind of okay. a look around. Yeah. It's a gander, yeah. It's a gander. But we have those here. Yeah, but it's not okay. But that's like a. That's like what is it? Magazines. Yeah, magazines. Uh, of, but not not just hentai, right? Not normal. Oh, stuff just anything well. related to that realm of uh, pleasure. Yeah. But, sorry, just to clarify, your goal isn't to go to Japan to buy a hentai magazine like it's 1942. Yeah, but it's like just being At in that. At least basically. Okay. Like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my whole point. Is, we're in the 21st century. But, okay, I mean, unless you're, <laughs> unless, like, you're trying to, like, connect to it, like, like, anima, uh, anima, anime and manga, where you love the anime, but you also gotta get the manga. What the fuck is a manga? Uh, a light comic fruit. book, a Japanese fruit. comic book. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruit. fruit. Yeah. 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 Manga. <laughs> okay. That's so dumb. Japanese culture, usually they write a book called a manga, right? It's a comic yeah. book. That's a story. They like mangoes. Yeah, and then that gets turned into an anime. They don't correlate. They can sometimes. They can. They yeah. can. So it's a cartoon book, but it doesn't have any point. Hentai Traditionally, stuff. hentai manga, which means perverted comic book, ah, yeah. so has... Get, okay, yeah. so you get a mix of them. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not gonna buy it. Just window shopping. For most, <laughs> for most of it, I'm you're just like, sticking, oh, here it exists. You know what? If you go to www. You could actually read it for free. You can, but you know. No, but it's it's different having page in hand. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I speak like I'm an expert. You know? No, I, I, was it Stanley that said like it's like buying <laughs> porn magazine because at least smart. you're having it in your hands. Who the fuck is Stanley? Stan Lee. Oh, 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 oh this Stan dude's Stan who's Lee. Stanley. No, 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 no. Like, he, he was the one that said like it's better than. You have to or Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Five. Stanley Lieber. Marvel. S- yeah, no, yeah, said yeah. talking about pornography. He died. Right? I don't know how mm-hmm. we got from traveling to pornography. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, to wrap Japan. up. No, okay. Japan. Wrap up. You guys do eventually want to go travel with us, right? like just as a group, right? Because I honestly, Expo Twenty Twenty Five is one I, I want in Japan. That would be. Yeah. Do you guys want to go there? Yes. 
Is there anything other like in mind that you have? North Korea. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm so <laughs> good. Actually, I don't mind. Pyongyang? Yeah. Yeah. You have to f sign a waiver. Can't take photos of anything as you're fucked. Yeah. Just you and... So after they travel to North Korea, we will be looking for two new replacements to join the Overrise crew. Submit your applications in the comments down below. <laughs> <sighs> like, people don't really come back from there anymore. Yeah, and just, like, fuck around and find out. <laughs> that is it, yeah. You do the interview? Oh, yeah, I would. <laughs> no. Nah, recruited by the CIA. Does he defecate? That's the question. <laughs> you know... <laughs> You know he like studied abroad and was like, I wouldn't say normal, but like a pretty normalized person before he became a dictator, which is a damn shame. People say he doesn't defecate. We mm. never end these yeah. videos on I mean, a good like, note. You never learn how to sing fireworks. Yeah. 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 He's got, he's got, apparently he's got American movies and that hidden away that he watches. Yeah, but it's only for his eyes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because yeah. he kept it in a vault or something. That's, that's pretty fucked up. Pretty cool, yeah. It's one of his best friends is that basketball player, right? Oh, uh, Dennis Rodman. Yeah. That's really? Cool. You know I met yeah. Dennis Rodman's father? You know he lives in the Philippines? No way. Uh, yeah. Just information overload. Sick, yeah. man. He's also destitute. Or was destitute. I'm tripped out right there. Yeah. Anyways, you know what? You're talking about traveling. You know what would be sick and like very feasible in the not too distant future? Why don't we go? Why don't we rent out a private beach? It's like not that expensive here. Yeah. And we do like over rice content on the beach. That rice be, on the beach. That would be you guys great. down? Yeah. yeah, I'm down. And if you guys want to see that, please Sand stick over in. Rice. Uh, Perfect. You could sponsor us too. <laughs> <laughs> After what we've talked about, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of us. We have been. <laughs> Sand on rice. Sand on rice. Peace. <laughs>